Hi everybody, uh, welcome to this week's edition of Weekly Highlights. So, um, I actually bought a candle this week, so I broke my streak of um, not buying any wax. Um, but I did really, really well. And this is really just kind of um, a, a tide me over kind of thing. Sometimes you just gotta go buy a candle and um, just to kind of get over the cravings. So, I went and um, went into Marshalls and found this. And I was really excited to find it. It was only $9.99. And it is, um, the scent is just called Pear. But I recognized the scent as Golden Spice Pear um, that Yankee had out as a treasure a couple of years ago. And I loved the scent. Um, it's just a really kind of a sweet, slightly spicy, but not real, real spicy pear scent. Um, I like it a lot better than Orchard Pear. Um, it just has more of a um, candied, almost, quality to it. So it's um, it's kind of a candied, sweet, a little bit of spice uh, pear, maybe kind of baked pears. Not a bakery, there's like no crust note or anything, but um, it's just a really, really nice scent, and I think that it's just a great, um, you know, how I, I have transitional scents, and I do use air quotes when I say that, transitional scents, because to some people this would be just a very fall scent. Um, to me, pear, um, kind of the autumn type fruits are really nice to start in August and kind of ease into the more fall scents in September and um, and and September is a great great time for those two but um, like I don't just bust out the pumpkins right away I kind of I kind of start with these types of scents so I really like it it's nice uh, it's a very nice scent uh, I feel like it's not maybe as quite as strong as the golden spice pear was but it's definitely the same fragrance. So if you see this at uh, Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I definitely recommend it um, for $9.99. It's a really, really nice candle. And um, so I've been burning that for a couple of days. And then I finished off two, um, two of my summer candles this week. So um, Amber Glow and Mountain Lake. And um, this one was one of the older style, older wax tumblers. Uh, that really burned out all the way. So, um, before they changed over to the smooth wax. So, I really enjoyed this. I really like the scent. And then, um, Amber Glow is a very nice scent too. Wish it was stronger, but it's, um, just a really nice, kind of soft, I would call it almost a bedroom type scent. Um, but anyways, I was happy to finish those. And then, the other candle, um, is this apple pie. Now I've talked about this candle in other videos. Um, I described it one time as my most hated candle. Um, I love the scent but the candle burned terribly and I've done surgery on it. I, I poured out wax. I scraped it. So I finally, um, it was in the back of my candle hutch and I found it this week. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to, this would be a perfect candle to use on my 24 watt candle warmer slash tart warmer from Michaels. Um, so I decided today to put it on the candle warmer and um, I was actually really surprised. It got off to a slow start. Obviously it, it this is the first time I've ever melted a candle. Um, so it, you know, obviously melts from the bottom up. Um, so, you know, it took it a while to get completely melted but not very long. I would say maybe 30, 35 minutes with this much. I mean, you know, this is a little less than half. And um, in about 30, 35 minutes, it was completely liquefied. And at first, like when it was almost liquid, I couldn't really smell much. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe it's not really gonna smell up the room. But then as soon as it was like completely liquefied, it was so strong. And I would say it definitely rivaled the tart, which was, if you remember the scent, um, it's retired now, but it was really, really strong in the tart. So, and the jar, you know, burning is, would have a good throw if it would burn right, but every single apple pie candle I've ever had tunneled really badly. 
so I never really got the full scent from it. So I was really excited when this melted and I got that wonderful apple pie scent. It's really crust heavy and um, spicy apple filling and um, even you might even smell that glaze that's kind of on top of the pie. So it's really, really nice when it melted. It was so strong. So I'm enjoying it and um, I think I will, I don't know how long it will smell up the house, but um, I did not leave it. I went to work and I did turn it off because I know, um, just a disclaimer, Yankee does not recommend melting their candles on a candle warmer. So I didn't want, you know, to leave and not be able to watch it and then come home to a big mess and broken glass and wax everywhere. So I did turn it off because the jar did get pretty hot. So um, if you do melt your candle on a warmer, I do suggest kind of burnt only doing it when you're you're around to keep an eye on it. So, but I didn't have any trouble with it. So I guess we will get right into the tarts. And I went through quite a lot of tarts this week. I'll go through the Krabby. Uh, I did two from Krabby Candle, uh, Blue Sugar. Now I've described this set before. It's kind of a um, the masculine answer to pink sugar. It is sweet, but it's it's kind of a, it's got a masculine quality to it. So it's an interesting scent. I like it in small doses and um, this one wasn't crazy strong. It, it did have a good throw, but it wasn't too, too strong. So um, I enjoyed it and I actually paired it, I think I did the last time too, I paired it with Midsummer's Night and it goes well together. I don't know why, but the masculine musky note in this really complements Midsummer's Night from Yankee. And then right now, I have in from Krabby Candle, Caramel and Fig. Um, you know, I really sh probably shouldn't have included it in this week's video because it is not completely melted. I just got home and popped it in and, um, and put the package aside for the video, but um, it really hasn't melted enough for me to really give a fair assessment of it. But... I'm starting to smell it, and it's um, cold at least. Um, it's you get the caramel, but it's not too. It's not as sickeningly, sickeningly sweet or rich as a lot of caramel scents. Um, it's really tempered by the fig. You definitely smell the fig note in this. Now I don't know exactly what figs smell like um, in in real life, but. I say in real life, like this isn't real life. <laughs> well, you know, a real fig, that's what I mean. Um, I don't know exactly what they smell like, but I do know that this is definitely not just caramel. You definitely get a kind of almost a green fruit note to it. So um, anyways, I thought it would go nice with the pear candle and it, um, I think it will uh, when it starts throwing. It has not melted all the way. I do like it cold though. And then I finished up some Kims. Very soon it will be time to order um, some Kims tarts for fall. Um, but uh, I finished up lemon poppy seed cake. Love this scent. It's um, I think it's my favorite of the uh, lemon uh, lemon bakery scents that I've tried from Kims. Now I still haven't tried. I think there's an iced lemon biscotti. Was it? Iced lemon biscotti? Maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I haven't tried that one. It's iced lemon something. I haven't tried that. And um, But the lemon pound cake, this one is better than the lemon pound cake in my opinion. Um, although I do like them both. But Amish Friendship Bread. Love this scent. And actually I think Kim's is the best Amish Friendship Bread I've tried. I've tried a couple. I think Front Porch. Uh, I tried one from her and it was fine but it was way different than this and then I tried it from another vendor I'm not thinking of right now but um, I mean this is really my favorite and it's it's a, one of the strongest from Kim's that I've tried and it lasts a long time I'm sorry I'm yawning um, but yeah it's it's just it's a little spicy it's a little um, kind of uh, you get a raisin note almost um, a very nice um, bakery scent, but it's not—it's—it's it's unique. It's not like your average cinnamony type 
bakery set. I don't know what all the spices are, but it's so good. I love it. And what else? Oh, another favorite from Ken. Black raspberry and vanilla. This is really nice. Oh, it's so good. And it's one of the stronger ones, too. Um, you really get the vanilla, creamy vanilla with the black raspberry. It's just a really happy scent. I love it. Then, from Sniff My Tarts, lemon cheesecake. Um, it was okay, but I can't, I mean, it wasn't anything to write home about. It was not my favorite lemon bakery scent that I've ever had. It was just kind of unremarkable, but it was fine. Um, I'm not saying it was bad, um, but the, nothing about it made me go, wow. Uh, um, you know, I think the throw was just kind of mild, light to medium. Didn't last that long. So, I mean, it was good while it lasted, let's put it that way. Um, and I kind of feel the same way about sour cream cake from Sniff My Tarts. Now, don't get me wrong, I really like Sniff My Tarts. Um, tarts, they're, they're really, really good. And most of them are very strong and have a great throw, but um, this is another one of those that is just a little underwhelming. I mean, it smells good, but it doesn't last that long. It's not that strong to me. <coughs> um, so, I like it. Okay. Then, Spa Fresh. Um, this is a decent scent as well. Uh, I guess I, I did finish up some of my not so favorites from <laughs> Sniff My Tarts. I know I'm kind of sounding negative because I really like Sniff My Tarts, but um, this is fine. It's an okay fresh scent. Um, it's not quite like the Yankee version. I think I've talked about this several times, so I won't spend too much time on that. And then, um, it's kind of messed up, but it's Blueberry Cobbler from Sniff My Tarts. Now this really was pretty pretty awesome. Um, it was really nice, really strong, a very good bakery scent. Uh, the blueberry is really, really strong in it, um, and the bakery is kind of more in the background. So, And it's, that's kind of like a lot of blueberry bakery scents. The blueberry is so strong that you really kind of get the bakery note in the background. But this was so good. I really enjoyed it. And then I tried two from a new company um, a couple of weeks ago. I, a candle buddy of mine named Leanne uh, messaged me after watching one of my videos and asked me if I'd ever tried Candleberry. Now, Candleberry I've heard of. i had always heard of them, and they make a um, candle called Maple Toddy. And um, I think it's kind of one of their famous candles and then there's another one Kentucky bourbon or something I, I could be saying um, getting the name slightly wrong but they're known for those two type scents Kentucky bur I want to say it's Kentucky bourbon and like maple toddy and um, I could be wrong like I said but they're known for two scents in particular and I've heard of them and um, they're made in Kentucky and so um, I've always heard the candles are really good. Well, she messaged me and said, well, have you ever tried their melts? And I said, no, I've never, never tried Candleberry. And she was like, well, I'd like to send you a couple sample, you know, a few samples um, because I think you'd really like them. So I was like, wow, that's so sweet. And um, she did. And um, so I got several samples. I tried two this week, so they will be um, in my videos as I try them. Um, and I went, you know, when I got the package, I, I mean, it smelled amazing, first of all. Um, but I was struck by, they were just kind of little chunks of wax in these little baggies. And I thought, well, that's interesting. So, I mean, they weren't shaped like anything. They were just like, they'd been chunked off of something larger. So I went to their website just to see what their melts look like. And um, they have, they come in like almost a cake. Um, and they're round and they, they've they got maybe like um, places where you can cut like perforate, not perforated but you know 
like little lines where you can cut them. And uh, so that's exactly what you do. You, cu you just cut off chunks. Um, and they look really, really big. I, I want to say, I'll link their website below because um, it, it's interesting. Uh, I think the big cake chunks are like 750 and it's like a lot of wax. Like you get a lot of uh, burn time from it. So anyways, um, I thought it was an interesting way to do melts. I mean, they're not like little individual tarts. You actually cut them off of a large piece. So, um, she sent me several really, really nice scents and really interesting, not everyday type scents. Um, the first one that I tried was called Rock Salt Ice Cream. Now, I did not see this on their website when I uh, went to look at it. So, I don't know if they discontinued the scent or it's just not in stock right now. But this was a really kind of nice scent. Um, it was sweet. Uh, you definitely got a creamy note to it, um, but there was kind of a fruit scent to it as well. So I don't know, I don't know what rock salt ice cream is, but um, so I can't tell you that it smelled exactly like it. But it was um, a fruity kind of creamy scent, and I did enjoy it. It had a good throw. Um, I would say it it didn't last a long, long time, but that's okay. And sometimes I think it's my warmer. Um, I do have a very hot 24 watt warmer and it does tend to burn off the fragrance um, quicker which is fine because I like a more intense throw while it lasts. I'd rather have a shorter strong scent than like a weaker uh, scent that lasts for a long time. So uh, and then the other scent that I tried was oh, tea and crumpets and it is it is on the website still and it's so nice now i could totally see me ordering like a large candle in this and by the way they have large candle jar candles um and one is like really huge i want to say it's like a gallon or something crazy like that but i mean they make different size jars um tea and crumpets it was a really really nice scent you definitely got the tea which was I was kind of surprised um, and then a little bit of spice and like kind of a bakery note in the background but mostly like a tea and some spice and like a slight bakery note so it was really really interesting scent I could totally see me enjoying a whole candle in this scent so I'm really liking those thank you Leanne if you're watching and as I melt the others I will definitely include those um, in my weekly highlights videos. So we just have a few more to go. The rest are Yankee. I'm, I've got almond cookie in there right now. I love this scent. Um, sad that it went away, but you know, hopefully it'll come back at some point. But this must have been next to a kitchen spice tart for a long time because um, it smelled like kitchen spice cold. So I'm hoping once it warms up, I'll smell the almond cookie scent that I love. Then Orchard Pear, um, the other day I I decided to light the, or melt this while I was burning my new pear candle, which this is a nice scent, but I much prefer this one. And then Hazelnut Coffee. I have to be in the mood for it, but I actually really like this scent. Um, it's a nice, creamy, nutty coffee scent, as you can imagine from the name. <laughs> And then strawberry buttercream. I surprisingly like this more and more. Every time I melt it, I'm like, wow, this is really kind of nice. Um, it's, the strawberry is a little artificial, but it's just really good. I mean, it just smells kind of like strawberry candy. And then there's that creamy note. So it, I don't know. I just, I like it. Mm, it's really nice. And then cherry berry pie. Now this is a really nice um, scent. It is retired now, but um, it's got a heavy crust note um, with, of course, the cherry and berry fragrance. Mm, I like it. It's similar to the apple pie, but with berries instead of apples. So that's uh, this week's uh, highlights. And um, so I'm really getting excited. You know, um, I've thought about even lighting up 
fall candles a couple of times this week, so I'm, but I'm trying to hold off just a little longer. I know you're like, um, aren't you burning one here? Yes, kind of. But I'm talking about my harvest, my autumn leaves, my autumn wreath. I'm trying to hold off on those just a little while longer. I don't know how long I've got in me, but um, I am trying to finish up a few other things. Um, but yeah, it's it's coming soon. I can already tell. I think last year I started in the middle of August. I lit up my autumn leaves and autumn wreath candle, and I never looked back. Um, and didn't regret one second of it. So I may do that this year. And, uh, and today I was thinking, we've got an early Thanksgiving. I mean, I think Thanksgiving this year is like the earliest it can fall on. It's like on the 22nd of November. So um, I I do Christmas like immediately the day after it, it, everything's Christmas. So, um, you know, I have a few days less of fall this year. So... <laughs> That's that may be my rationale for lighting up the fall scents early, but um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you all soon. Have a great week. Bye.